Welcome back, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. Now, I don't know about you, but if you want to be mother or father of dragons, there's only one way to do it. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. Last year at Comic-Con, I saw Jason Momoa. How dreamy. But since we can't really have real dragons, I figured there's one way to get some. Dragons, that is. Perbs. So in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make dragon eggs necklace. Now even though this is a really easy tutorial, in order to be mother of dragons, you need to be master of patience. Because every piece of scale goes on individually. If you're a Game of Thrones fan and you want to make something else Game of Thrones, why not check out my Hand of the King pin tutorial over there. Let's hope you don't get your head chopped off. Here's what you'll need for this project. Green, scrap clay. If you don't have scrap clay, use any color that you want. Rounded and pointy tool, an eye pin, a regular straw, yellow and white paint, a roller. If you don't have a roller, you can use your rounded tool. Two jump rings, lobster clasp, and your chain. The first thing you're going to do is take your scrap clay, make it into a ball, and then shape it like an egg. So here's our base. Now take your eye pin and push it on top of your egg. Now bake this for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now once it's all hard and baked, what we're going to do is start putting the scales all the way around. Now take out your dark green clay and roll it out as thin as you can. This thickness should do. Now take your straw and cut off a small end of it. Now you're going to use your straw as a circle cutter for the scales. So make small little circles out of your green clay. While layering the scales, we're going to start from the bottom. Take your first piece and put it right in the middle at the bottom. Now take your other scales and go all the way around it. Like so. So it kind of looks like a flower. Now you're going to continue going around with your scales and make sure that you get the center parts. Now that you have the base, now we're going to start make it so that it's more organized all the way around. So you're going to lay them in one even circle. Here it is. Now you're going to continue doing this all the way around. It's important to know that the top scales should slightly overlap the ones at the bottom. Otherwise, it's not going to look like scales. So you want to make sure that when you put each one, that it's slightly going to touch the ones at the bottom. Like this. Now I'm going to do a couple of rows and show you what that looks like. If it looks like a disaster, don't worry about it. It actually starts looking nicer as we get to the top. So I'm going to do a couple more rows and then I'm going to come back and look at it. So far so good. Once you get to a point where it's a little harder to hold the tip, feel free to put one finger at the bottom and one finger at the top and then keep going. Since we're texturing the bottom anyways, it's okay if it's flat. Now to close the top, you're going to do exactly what we've been doing and just put some scales to cover it up. Ta-da! Now if any of the scales are sticking out too much, just push them lightly down with your fingers. Here's our dragon egg. Now for the textured part of the egg, what you can do is take your pointy tool and start tapping in the area that you want it to look textured. Or if you're lucky enough that your pointy tool has some texture, feel free to roll that texture where you want it to be. Voila! Now if you got any fingertips or particles on your piece, take your rubbing alcohol and your Q-tip and clean it up. Here it is all clean. Now bake for another 7 minutes, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Here it is all baked. Now what we're going to do is mix our paint so that we get a kind of cream color and get the paint in all the little nooks and crannies. Now take a paper towel and wipe off all the paint that you can get that's on the surface. Keep the ones in the nooks and crannies there. Feel free to wet your towel just a little bit if the paint is stubborn. Like so. We need to get some of that paint on the bottom. Dab your finger in the paint and put it all over the textured area that we had at the bottom. Now let it dry for a few minutes. Now you can turn these into anything you want. I'm showing you necklaces, but you can make these into earrings, keychains, or if you make it larger, you can turn this into a paperweight. Cut a piece of your chain that's about four inches long and attach each one of your dragon eggs onto that piece of chain. Now open one of your jump rings and put it through the last link on each side. Once you have your jump ring here, take your chain, bend it in half, and insert it in the jump ring. Now close it up, 
Now open up your other jump ring and you're going to put it through both. Take your lobster clasp. Now do the same thing on the other side. And here it is. All done! Now remember, if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And if you make any of my creations, make sure that you post it on my Facebook or hashtag me on Instagram. So if you haven't added me on any of these, what are you waiting for? Until then, I will see you guys next week.